Number 76. Account for the increase in reaction rate brought about by a catalyst. Okay. So I put down here a beautiful graph of a reaction process that always starts with your reactants and goes to your products. Now, if you don't know by now, which I hope you do, right? We are in catalysis, we're in kinetics in your chemistry class, that reactants are always on the left side. So you'll always start with reactants and you will go to your products. So that's why whatever your starting material is, that's on the left side. And as you go forward into your reaction, you will turn your reactants into products. Okay. Now, this graph shows, basically, if you want to think about it in terms of like a time, right, extent of the reaction, as time progresses that you turn your reactants into products, you need certain amounts of energy to turn those reactants into its products. Now, in chemistry, always know that the more energy that a reaction requires, the more unstable the reaction or the process is. So in chem, energy is bad. Bad energy. <laughs> so we have two different reaction pathways here. We have a red pathway, and then we have this blue pathway. Now, what I like to think about these, especially these types of graphs, graphs is I like to think about them in terms of riding a roller coaster right? This red one is the nitro version, right? And if, if anybody has been to Six Flags Great Adventure, which is in New Jersey, right, you might have seen nitro, right? And nitro has a very infamous, well, I guess famous, right, right up to the top. Now, this was way before, you know, King Dakar came. King Dakar is like the complete, you know, I guess it's much faster. It's, you know, better, faster, stronger than nitro. But um, I remember when I went on nitro, it took me so long or it took the roller coaster so long to trek up, right? Majority of the ride was literally just going, trying to go up to the top. But once you reach that top, whee, you had so much fun. But the problem is getting all the way up to that energy level. Now, in this case, for pathway number one, which we'll classify as nitro, It took a lot of energy, and only when you reach the tippy point or the maximum energy that you can, then you can convert your reactants into products. But if your specific reaction doesn't get, you know, that certain amount of energy, you're not making any products. You have to reach that maximum amount of energy. But now let's talk about the other roller coaster, right? This little one. And let's just say, I don't know, it's, it's smaller, right? So it's not as much of a, a great uh, increase. So in terms of time-wise, right, this one is going to be a quicker reaction or a quicker roller coaster because nitro, it just takes so long to get up to that top. So a lot of waiting, we'll say. Meanwhile, if you go on a smaller roller coaster, right, that has only a little bit of an increase and then a, a decrease, this roller coaster, I don't know what word you want to put, I don't know, the flying unicorn, I don't know, right? It's just not a big bad boy like Nitro. But this one is faster, quote unquote, right? It's a faster roller coaster because you don't have to wait as long to get all the way to the tippy top. And look right? The top or the amount of energy that's required is smaller than the amount of energy required that the other pathway. So we'll call this pathway number two. Okay. Now we're talking about an increase in reaction rate brought about by a catalyst. Now we did say that number two was the faster pathway. 
And that's what an increase in reaction rate is all about. An increase in reaction rate is literally saying that the speed of your reaction is increasing. We did say that the one that has the bigger energy hump is going to be the slower reaction or the slower um, roller coaster, right? But now we're going to start turning over roller coasters into reaction. Always the one that has the higher peak is always going to be slower. The one that has the smaller peak, doesn't matter how many individual peaks you see, but just as long as these peaks are lower than the other one, it's going to always be faster. So this, so pathway number two is a faster reaction. And because it's faster, that means that there's going to be an increase in reaction rate. They, it literally means the same thing. Slower reaction means that your reaction rate will be slower. You know, it will be lower relatively to the other one. Now, they did say that always the increase in reaction rate, the higher the speed, the faster the reaction, is always brought about by a catalyst. So, which pathway or which roller coaster has the catalyst? You're absolutely correct. It is pathway number two. This one has the catalyst. Now, a catalyst in chemistry is something that is destroyed, but then made. It never gets demolished. It's always there. It's always replenished. And there's tons of catalysts that you're going to learn about if you have to take biochemistry or biology, right? A catalyst in terms of, you know, biochem, which is where this, the, real, the real stuff happens, these are all of your enzymes. There's tons of enzymes in our body that catalyze reactions or make the reactions faster. And that's what catalysts do. Now, we just need to account for this increase in reaction rate. Notice how the energy values for the reactants and for the products for both colors, both pathways, the red and the blue, they do not change. So your, rea your energy at the start and at the finish are the same. The only thing that a catalyst does is it just finds an alternate pathway so a different way to go from reactants to products by finding a way that lowers that activation energy. Or the tippy-tippy point, going to the tippy-tippy point of the graph. So let's write that out, and then I'll just describe to you how to find an activation energy, and then this will be basically done. So a catalyst will find an alternate or another synonyms to the wind alter oh boy we know synonyms but can we spell no find an alternate pathway that has a i'm just going to put an arrow here a lower activation energy and the activation energy is the energy needed or it's the highest energy needed to overcome the obstacles to make the products. Now, the activation energy is always from your beginning, it's always from your reactants if you're going forward, all the way to the tippy, 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 tippy point of your graph. So in the red graph, your activation energy would be from the tippy, tippy point, that's why there's this line here, because it matches up with the, you know, the reactants, all the way up to the tippy, 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 tippy point. So it's from the beginning all the way to the tippy, tippy point. And then, by adding a catalyst, which makes the reaction faster, your activation energy from the beginning to the tippy-tippy-tippy point of that graph, it's lower. It's this much lower, right? So that's what the activation energy is. It's the energy needed to uh, basically run to your products. So it's the energy needed to activate the reaction so that your reactants can go to your products. But in terms of the answer to this question, all that a catalyst is doing is it's just finding a different pathway or an alternate pathway that has a lower activation energy. And because you have a lower activation energy, it's a faster reaction. And um, anything else that I can say 
Just know, once again, that if you're adding a catalyst, the, react, uh, the energy levels for your reactants and your products, they don't change. So it's not like you have one graph that's like this, and then the next graph is like this. The starts and the ends have to be the same. The only thing that's different is that hump for the other reaction. Um, anything else? I think... I think that's I think that's basically good. All right. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to become a member to help us out, hit the uh, I guess the membership button. Right. Any uh, bit helps from you. And that's how we can produce more videos for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And I'll talk to you soon. OK. All right. Bye bye.